Hi, I'm Dr. Tibor Lazar. I'm the owner and surgeon of Lazar Veterinary Surgery. I'm now going to talk about a surgical procedure called an FHO. It stands for femoral head and neck ostectomy, and it's the surgery of the hip joint in dogs and cats. Uh, I'm going to use these illustrations which uh, were created by Webster Veterinary Supply. It's a DIA app for the iPad which really uh, is a very useful illustration for this procedure and many others. Uh, now the FHO is a procedure that is performed for various reasons. Hip dysplasia is probably about the most common uh, reason and we also do it for a fracture of the hip joint or many fractures of the hip joint I should say. Um, as well as other orthopedic injuries or luxation where the hip joint pops out of place. It's a technique that we perform in the smaller dogs and cats really without um, any concern for um, use of the leg. They do very, very well. But we also use it in the larger dogs. Dogs over 50 pounds are typically best treated with a total hip replacement, but with proper physical therapy, it's, this is a surgical procedure that can be done even in the larger dogs, although we do expect to see a bit of a gait abnormality. The leg may always be somewhat weaker than a normal leg, but it will be pain-free, and so for that reason it is very commonly opted as the surgery of choice. When we have the 30 to 50 pound range of dog, uh, it, it can be very effective, and we do recommend physical therapy to get, it, get the, the pets using the leg as quick as possible. So I'm going to make a couple of drawings here. With the FHO, we are going to cut the bone. The, the hip joint is a ball and socket joint, and we're going to cut the ball part of it. The femoral head is the ball, and then the neck is where it extends to the femur, which is uh, the long bone of the leg. So we are going to make the cut and then just remove the entire femoral head and neck area and throw it away. So we've created a gap. Uh, it doesn't really float there the way it would look on the illustration. The gluteal muscles are holding the femur in place, and as time goes on, scar tissue will fill in the gap and create what we call a false joint. <clears throat> this false joint will actually be very strong as time goes on, as the weeks and months go on, and uh, for that reason, it will uh, do the job of the normal hip joint. As far as potential complications overall are fairly low, bruising, swelling, redness, we can see that uh, fairly commonly, but typically five days out or so, it's quite minimal, if not completely gone. Major complications uh, are potential, but fairly rare following FHO. Infection is a potential concern. Uh, a dog that just has a very poor muscle strength will have a slow recovery doesn't mean that they can't recover, but it may be a more involved recovery. There's a very important nerve that sits near the top here. Uh, it's called the sciatic nerve, and in theory it could be damaged. It's pretty rare, but if it were damaged, it would cause uh, significant problems for use of the leg, and potentially permanent. So aftercare of the surgery is really uh, much better than the aftercare on most other orthopedic procedures that uh, we perform where we actually encourage the pet to be active and the more active they are typically the quicker the recovery is. Now the first two weeks we still advise restricted activity. Two weeks of rest where there's no running, jumping, playing, no stairs, no playing with other dogs. Sutures will come out in about two weeks and at that point we're going to uh, recommend using the leg. Walking is uh, the better way to get a dog to start using the leg, but even if there's some slow running um, and, and they're using the leg, that's perfectly fine. The really hard stuff, the, the playing with other dogs, uh, running for balls, I would still wait several weeks, closer to six to eight weeks out for that because they're more likely to twist the hip area and it'll become inflamed and then they just won't uh, be using it as well anymore. But uh, the use of the leg, too early if there is an accident, chasing the squirrel, getting out of the house. The good news is that they really can't do much in the way of harm other than a temporary swelling. Now, physical therapy, as I mentioned, is rather important and can be uh, quite beneficial uh, to getting a, a dog using the leg early on. We will demonstrate how to do range of motion exercises where we flex and extend the hip joint 
uh, move it around in a circular motion. We want that hip to have the range of motion that a normal hip joint would. If a patient refuses to use the leg and we're six to eight weeks out, then very likely this will always be a very tight hip joint and will not have the range of motion of a normal hip. So if your pet is having difficulty using the leg uh, and you haven't started physical therapy, that will be a time that, you know, even a month out that we would uh, advise that you do that. But overall, it is uh, a very successful surgery with few risks and uh, most pets do extremely well.